Good afternoon. Today I was out doing a little whiskey hunting and I found Wild Turkey 101 Rye. Uh, Bart had mentioned one time in one of his videos of Scotch Test Dummies that he was wanting it. I sent him a text. He didn't get back to me, didn't get back to me. Can't wait around there forever, so I bought one for myself and left. They had two bottles and that's all they had. Well, it's an hour and a half, two hours later, and he sends me a text. Get me one. I'll take it. Well, I'm going to have to find a way back over there. Maybe tomorrow or the next day, hopefully. If not, and it doesn't work out, he may not get one. but Or they may sell it. I don't know. But anyway, I look forward to trying that. But today, what I'm going to try for you guys is Johnny Walker Red Label. Now, I swore I wouldn't do this once, I think. But I think it needs to be done after I did the JMB. The JMB I kind of actually liked. It surprised me for a blended scotch. I was really kind of amazed at the, what I got. It says on the back of the label, it's 40% alcohol by volume here on the front of the label. It's a 375 flask style bottle, not the typical square bottles you see. And it is aged for a minimum of three years according to Scotch Whiskey Regulation of the United Kingdom. I thought at one time it was aged longer than that. I don't know if this is a newer bottle, new packaging, or I can't really tell you that much about it, but for some reason I thought the red label, I thought the black label was supposed to be like a 10 or a 12. The red label was supposed to be like an eight, something like that is what I thought. But if so, maybe things have changed. Either way, and it's the 375 in the hip flask style bottle, which is unique. All right, we swirl, 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 swirl. And it doesn't do much clinging. It does a lot of splashing. Splashed a little up high on the glass when I was pouring it. it smells grainy. <laughs> and smell like soap. Chill filter, more than likely, it's got that good golden color, but more than likely that's caramel. Get green apple on the nose. Lots of grain, lots of grain spirit. A little maltiness in it. And a faint, faint vanilla. But the grain and the maltiness and the green apple dominate with a real faint vanilla in the background. Almost grassy in scent. All right, let's take, let's take a drink. Green apple. Get more of the vanilla in the palate than you do in the nose. Maltiness really lies in there. The grain kind of burns your tongue. It's a little hot on the tongue, actually. You really get the grain coming through. Pretty much palate confirms nose on this one. A faint, a faint sweetness or a faint spicy sweetness in the background, but it's indescript. I'm not going to call it cinnamon or nutmeg or anything like that, but there's a little spicy, sweet spicy character in the background. It's mostly dominated by the grain, the grain and the pear. A little bit sour in the finish too. Finish goes pretty quick, actually. Not bitter, sour. The grain just knocks a lot of it down. You start to get this, the, the scotch, and it starts to creep forward a little bit. About the time it starts to get, you taste it, the sourness in the grain, uh, a little bit of maltiness just knocks it all back.
I know they use it as a mixer a lot. I see why. I have not had this since probably 1986. And I don't have fond memories from it, 1986. That was 30 years ago and still don't, uh, still don't engender fond memories. That being said, that's not total garbage. I'd give it a 70. I'll be generous and give it a 70 out of 100. I might be a little generous there. You could drink it. You might want to let it sit in your glass. The longer it's been in my glass, the little more, for lack of a better term, tame it gets. It calms down somewhat. Well, that's about it for this. It's a pretty simple, straightforward review. It's a beautiful, wonderful Kansas afternoon. Got the cattle in the background, the windmill pumping water in the in the uh, in the cattle trough. Oh, we hear them bellow. They're talking to us. Well, with that, I'm going to sign off. Everybody have a good afternoon. Remember, the spirit in your glass is not running from you. Take your time, sip it, enjoy it. You'll be better for it. Have a good evening.